Welcome back to another Cube video. Today we're going to take a peek under the hood of a cinematic, hybrid synth and orchestra track built almost entirely with Cube. The only third party elements in this track are the orchestral strings and a few percussive elements, which gives us a great window into how well Cube can sit in your film, TV or trailer mix right out of the box. All of the Cube sounds that you hear in this track are factory presets, so you could easily use these in your own projects. Let's start by giving the track a listen. I'll add some helpful highlights and tips in the video while we listen down, and then I'll discuss how Cube makes this track so unique. Awesome! As you can hear, there's a huge variety of cube presets in this track. In this first section, we have a percussive sequence, some ethereal ambient keys, an ambient plucked arp, as well as some really useful mix sweeteners, like this washy white noise pad. Just in the intro, we've already got a really dynamic and interesting mood, made entirely with cube and supported by a very simple string pad. As we move through the intro, we hear this plucked synth sound come in. This is one of our favorite keys presets, Mbira. In this instance, we are automating the ether slider as the track progresses, which increases the intensity by fading between the two dynamic layers of the sound. The macro knob, which is also rising with automation, can be assigned to modulate a ton of cube sample and effects parameters, and in this case is increasing the orbit intensity and rotation, which help to give each note a slightly different sample combination and sonic profile. The piece also uses some of Cube's great pad textures throughout. In the System Error track, you can hear how the orbit evolves the sound and keeps the pad interesting. Really quickly, let's hear that and also this transition moment in the Electric Wave track. Cool, now we're in one of my favorite sections of the track with this glass pluck sound. No clever mods or anything on this track, just a cool part and a great pluck sound from Cube. On the other hand, this bass and percussive pulse has some really cool fast tweaks to the ether and macro settings in key moments, which give it an almost glitchy feel. Really minimal but clever tweaks. 
Remember that you can assign controllers to any of these parameters, so you can easily record this kind of automation with sliders and knobs. This sound is also a good example of interesting sample combinations that are available in Cube. We've got this really cool sax sample paired with some beefy kick drums and a synth op on top for good measure. A really unique blend of sounds only found in Cube. Now let's look at a couple more very simple but effective Cube layers. For Cube we recorded several different pianos that just need a good chord progression and a little verb to sound great. Likewise, with Cube's transition sounds, just ride the volume up and let our presets do the heavy lifting. Cube also comes with a variety of eco mode presets, which only use one sampler and a single sound source, but still use the rest of the Cube engine, just without the orbits. Heart Tremors is an eco mode preset where the sample start is being modulated by an LFO to give the pole some subtle movement. This last section, as things wind down, shows some really nice spacious and ethereal textures supporting our piano patch from before. Let's listen to how combining these evolving tonal pads, closer encounters and electric wave with the pitchless white noise motion in Lunar Dunes, create a really lush but unobtrusive bed of ambience. We hope this gives you a sense of how Cube can be an excellent foundation for cinematic music. Cube offers a ton of different sample and preset options that will sound great in your track right out of the box. And in using Cube, be sure to explore the main interface, specifically automating the ether, macro, and global filter knobs to really get the most out of each preset. You can find the audio for this track, along with more demos and information on our website. Stay tuned for more deep dives into Cube, and be sure to follow us on our socials for other updates and content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.